Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft. So today I kind of wanted to create a tutorial for Silent Gear as it is now and maybe I'll continue making some more videos on this world. I don't know, we'll just have to see where this goes. I mean, typically when I record Minecraft, I just end up trashing the footage. So, <laughs> there might be like one video on my channel a while back of me saying, there's no way I'm going to upload this, and I actually did. I I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, we're going to go through uh, the basics of Silent Gear, because I've been working on the mod a lot recently. It's had some changes. There have been a, a few uh, common questions recently, which I want to cover mostly regarding template boards and repair kits. So uh, eventually it's going to uh, get us into the world here. I don't know why it takes so long to load. I think it's Mine Colonies that does this. But uh, there we go. I'll just go ahead and uh, kick that into full screen. And come on OBS, there we go. All right. So, uh, it's, uh, taking a while. I've, I've never seen a supply camp in the bonus chest. Is that new? That might be new. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, create a waypoint on spawn really quickly. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this treasure bag, but I'm not going to use everything that's in it. So I have a data pack that makes this uh, give some randomized tools here. And uh, red sandstone, that's new. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to turn off the advanced tool tips. So uh, these are silent gear tools. They are, if you're familiar with the old silence gems, that's basically what these are. Just a... Uh, a greatly improved system. Uh, we're going to be getting into crafting these. Uh, I'm using a development version that is not yet released. This is version 1.9.0. So uh, some things like the construction tooltip you'll see are a bit different than are in the current release and beta version. But uh, the crafting process is largely the same. So uh, I'll, yeah, and I actually created this as a creative world because I wanted to test a bug that uh, is resetting your command options. Like if you enable cheats, then it just, after a while, it suddenly no longer has cheats enabled. I don't know why it does that. I don't know what mod's responsible, if any, or if maybe that's just a vanilla bug. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, take a look around. Got redwoods. Got a couple of buildings over there. I've got Valhessia structures for some reasons. I honestly don't remember when I added that. The ruins mod is back. It actually works now for like the first time in a year. So that's pretty cool. I think this is from ruins over here. I see some fluffy puffs. I'm going to go grab those. So, that's got some cool stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, kind of look for a place to settle in. I guess I could just plop down my uh, starter house wherever. But uh, let me take a quick look around, see if I can find like a cave or something. Okay, here's a cave. And kind of hard to tell how far down that goes. Okay, this looks promising. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and snag a little bit of iron here. Uh, 
Okay, so currently this is just a vanilla pickaxe. And that's fine for now, it, it works. But uh, one thing we can actually do, let me just go ahead and get out of this cave first. I love the wall jump mod. It's so cool. Okay, so let me go ahead and just uh, get my thoughts together. So we got a vanilla pickaxe here. And one thing you can do in the new version, in the 1.9 alpha version that I'm playing, is you could just put vanilla tools in the crafting grid and convert them into a silent gear tool. So they'll be mostly the same, but... Uh, they could end up being better depending on what exactly you were using. They'll also keep any enchantments they may have had. So I'm going to come back here and uh, think about where to put my house. What is that building back there? Yeah, I think that's one of the... Yeah, it's an enchanting table building. I'll uh, m mess with that later. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the house down here. Going to go with ranch style. And there we go. Now we got a little area to work with. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this leather armor. And I didn't actually mean to take the dagger with me. All right, and I don't know what's screwing up the uh, armor and item rendering. Just do that for now. Okay, so I've already got a little bit of wood. Uh, don't have any stone on me. I'll go ahead and uh, slide down here and grab whatever stone is in the chest. Uh, hopefully there's some stone. Yeah, there's a little bit. Alright, 34 cobblestone. Nice. I'll take the iron. Okay, so now let's get into Silent Gear. So, more likely than not, you're going to spawn with this blueprint package that can be disabled in the config, but by default, you'll spawn with one of these. I recommend not opening it until you kind of get, like, a settled in a little bit or a place to store stuff, because it's going to give you multiple blueprint items, as you can see here. So, these blueprints are used for crafting silent gear items, and there is actually... A small exception to that, but for the most part, you'll need the blueprints to craft things. Uh, the one exception to that is you can make these rough rods, which are two sticks in a diagonal pattern. And using these, there are a... well, unfortunately, it doesn't filter them quite the right way, but uh, there's a couple of recipes in here that don't use the blueprints. Uh, like this dagger recipe right here. So you can use any material, any gear crafting material, and then a rough rod to make a dagger. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take a rough rod, and uh, these rough recipes are shaped, so that does need to be above the rough rod, and we've made a crude stone dagger. All right, and with this, what we can do is craft it with some logs of any type. Uh, let's actually use up the acacia here and make template boards. And that damages the dagger a little bit with each use. And now with template boards, we can make templates, which are like single-use blueprints. And, of course, the blueprints can also be crafted. Uh, they require blueprint paper. 
which is made with paper and blue dye. So if you don't have access to those materials yet, you can use templates instead. So I actually got a machete blueprint, uh, but say if I wanted a sword, you would use that to craft a template, and then you can use that to make a sword. Uh, I think I'll actually go with the machete, so that needs three materials for the head. And then we can either craft this as it is, or we can also throw in a rod. But uh, before we do that, let's also take at this tool rod blueprint. So with this, we can craft uh, these compound tool rods. And pretty much the only good thing we have to work with at this point is the cobblestone, or, or well, wood would probably be better. But you can also mix different materials in, and the same applies for tool heads. I did not think wood and stone would actually go that well together. Huh. <laughs> okay. Might be something that needs a little bit of balancing, or maybe that's fine. So we got an oak wood cobblestone tool rod. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, try our machete again. So like I said, you can swap out any materials, although typically if you make uh, mix different materials, they normally don't go together very well, although it seems that stone and wood just don't really care about all that. So currently it is a bit weird with how it displays the stats on the tool heads with the multiplier tacked onto everything. I'm still kind of working on that a little bit. Okay, so here is our stone machete. So the machete is kind of nice because it can clear small areas of plants. Not quite as good as a sickle, but it does the job. It's also fairly effective on wood, although not as good as an axe. Just kind of a... oh! <laughs> Just kind of a good general purpose tool. And it also does a respectable amount of damage. Okay, and let's go ahead and make a shield while we're at it. Uh, don't think this rod would be the greatest choice for a shield. Let's go ahead and just make some your wood tool rods. Could also use the sticks still, but I'll go ahead and do that. And for shields, uh, wood should have slightly more durability than cobblestone because it has higher armor durability. So that is 202. What does that do? 167... 112, so yeah. Stone's not great for shields. But that will be a uh, perfectly acceptable starter shield. Okay, might as well create a shovel while I'm at it. Okay, so now I should have smelted up this iron. So the other thing I wanted to cover is repair kits. So there are three tiers which vary just in how much they can store at this point. And the first one is pretty easy to craft. Iron's probably the most expensive part there. You do need template boards. So again, you need to know how to craft a dagger, even if you don't have a blueprint or a template for it. Right, so there's our crude repair kit. 
And there's no advancements for these just yet. I've got to work on that. So with the repair kits, we can use these to repair our items. So this one doesn't have anything in it, so we'd also have to throw some extra material into the grid. Another thing you can do is load it with material ahead of time. Something like that. And then you can use that to just top off your tools whenever it'll pull however much repair value it needs to repair the item. So that's, uh, it's more efficient in some ways if you want to completely repair your tool. Alright, so might as well go do a little bit of mining. So as you may have noticed with the uh, newer version, there are different types of wood now. As you can see, uh, like the stone pickaxe, which I made out of a vanilla one, it's got that generic wood color to it. But the machete has, it was the oak and cobblestone mixture that I made, so it's got a much lighter color to it. And the color is the only difference between the different wood types. Alright, and we got... Uh, our tunnel went straight out into a cave. That works for me. Ah, but because this pickaxe is only stone, there's not a lot I can do. That looks like a spawner and diamonds. What the heck is with this world? I can never find diamonds when I want them. Well, it's not like I can mine them as it is. Yeah, we had 16 iron up there. Might as well just go make an entirely new pickaxe. There are also tip upgrades, which can upgrade existing tools, but those require paper. Okay, so pickaxe blueprint. Uh, got our iron here. And uh, let's actually go a little bit further with this and make a couple of refined iron. And of course, I'll need the rod blueprint as well. Okay, so what if we uh, mix refined iron and iron? Okay, that's a missing lane key. But that's fine, it'll work. What about you? Okay, it is slightly better having them mixed together like that. So let's do that, and for a pickaxe we'll take a similar approach, just mixing materials to get that synergy bonus. Uh, synergy bonus, yes, the value displayed on the, the finished tool is not technically correct right now. It's Like I said, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of internal stuff that I'm working on, so... There are a few issues with this build still. But uh, this looks like a pretty good pickaxe. I think maybe a little bit more refined iron would work. Okay, so if it's all refined iron... Uh, it's kind of weird how it adds the X1 multiplier on everything. And... Yeah, that actually comes out a bit better, right? Yep, sure does. So, two refined iron, one iron. That's what I'm gonna go with. And the name is, like I said, broken, but it's fine. It'll work. 
Okay, now unfortunately this repair kit is full of tier 1 material. And this pickaxe is, well, it says it's a tier 0, but it's supposed to be a tier 2 now, so we would actually need to... Uh, we would actually need to load this with something like iron, for instance. Uh, I'll actually just take a little bit of iron down with me. Okay, I'll go ahead and mine this phosphophilide on the way down. Ah oh, yes, so this pickaxe also has the magnetic trait, so it's going to draw in items that I mine. Mm, kind of like that. It doesn't do it from a great distance, but uh, it's still very handy. Okay, this is kind of dangerous looking, to say the least. Uh, I feel like if I put cobblestone down there, there... Yeah, I should really do something about the skeletons here first. Oof. Okay, that guy did a lot of damage. I've just got some cheap leather armor, so... Uh, yeah, I've got a shield that I can use. Why are you not dying? What the heck are you? Are you... No, I don't have a scaling health, so... Uh, what in the world is going on here? Don't really want to destroy the spawner, but at the same time, these skeletons are insane. Okay, area is secure. Finally. So is there anything wrong with my machete? No, it says it has attack damage. So I don't know, maybe it's something to do with the spawner. But whatever the case, it, feel, it looks like we've found a lot of diamonds here, which is crazy. Okay, and got a couple of rubies right here. Hmm. We might be able to make use of that. So let's actually save this diamond 
for just a second here. Oh, that's nickel ore. <laughs> it's like, why is it not breaking? Let's see. I wonder if there is... Eh, well, two ruby is enough. Okay. Yeah, that, that zombie died without much issue. So I'm actually going to go back up one more time. I didn't bring my blueprints with me now. And we're going to take advantage of a trait that the ruby has. <laughs> I just can't believe how, how convenient everything has been so far in this world. I may have to keep playing on this. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll use this tool rod again. We need to pickaxe blueprint. And I'm going to do ruby, ruby, fos. And yeah, that, should, that has a big 131% synergy multiplier, so that's nice. Should get some decent durability on that. Not as good as pure ruby, but it's fine. We've got the Imperial 3 trait, which is what I want. And as you can see by the description, increases gem drops when mining. That's very handy. Put the rod on that. And that looks pretty awesome. So let's go down one more time. Uh, I wish I had a mod that let me climb down the ladders faster. Might as well uh, top off my shield a little bit here. Okay, and let's mine these diamonds. Maybe after filling in part of this lava though. we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of diamond ore. And we got 11 diamonds thanks to Imperial. So that is very nice. <laughs> I, I just love how the rubies are right next to the diamond. It's almost like I planned this, but I swear I did not. Okay, we've got a little bit of chaos ore here, but I cannot mine that. All right, so I think that's all I wanted to cover. That was uh, introductory silent gear. It shows how to craft tools, how to get started, uh, how to get template boards, how to use repair kits. I think that covers pretty much everything that I was hoping to cover. Uh, I still can't believe how nice this world was to me with the two rubies and eight diamonds just right there at the bottom of my starter house's mine shaft. That is just... <laughs> that's too good so if you want me to keep playing in this world maybe i'll consider that let me know in the comments if you're interested so thanks for watching again and i'll see you later